Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to start working on the dark type gym in this here Mega Taiga. But first, I have been doing quite a bit of work off camera. I started laying out the design for the major city in the middle of the map over there, including gated entrances, roads, underground tunnels, and the department store. I don't want to show that on camera until I get more done though, so keep an eye out for that in the future. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy the construction of the next gym, and I'll catch you on the other side. And we are back with the completion of the Dark Gym. I have put it inside this Mega Taiga. Uh, you can see parts of the Snow Mountain up there. Oh, I was about to fly up, but I took myself off of creative mode. Um, so this forest is huge, and there's going to be a whole bunch of places to go and discover. Um, but eventually you'll come across this pathway where it starts to get a lot darker, and it slowly starts to close off too. Uh, this is all custom grown, obviously and eventually it leads you inside to the entrance to the gym. And since it's a dark gym, I wanted to do something a little bit different from the normal parkour. Um, so this entrance right here, you're supposed to go over that direction. I'm not, supposed to, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on, uh, on, on camera. Um, but if you continue this way, just kind of hold shift down. Um, I already know the pathway, so it's kind of cheaty, I guess, that I know it. But if you fall, here I'll do this really quick, if you fall at any point, there's no way to get back up. That's obvious um, until you go here and you see this whole pathway back out to the front. So if you fall, you have to kind of restart from the beginning and then continue on that way. So this is back to the beginning. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift and go down the path. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but obviously I'm showing all of the solutions to these parkour puzzles, and just in general these puzzles. So if you don't want to uh, be spoiled and you want to figure out this stuff for yourself, you can always just skip ahead and skip this part of the video. Um, this one I might end up rearranging anyway just to make it a little bit more fun in case you did watch the video. This is going to be at least the fourth or fifth gym, if not later, in the series. Um, so the intensity should be increasing, the difficulty should be going up quite a bit. So I thought that was kind of a unique little spin to put on it. And then you follow the path this way. This is by far the hardest parkour that I have made. Um, this first jump I can never make on the first try. Okay, well I just spoke a little too soon there. Um, okay, well now that I've built it up I'm going to like do this really easily. But those first two jumps there are so difficult to make. Um, the fence posts at just about your max jumping distance, maybe a little bit, a little bit before your max jumping distance. 
I, I don't know. That's just one of the hardest things to do, I think, in, in uh, Minecraft parkour here. Um, so anyways, yeah, of course, since I built it up, I made it over to the ledge just fine, no problems. But hopefully that's a little bit challenging for you guys. Uh, maybe it's simple, maybe I'll go back and add more levels to it. Um, but again, these parkours are supposed to be fun, not supposed to be the huge challenge. The big challenge is the gym, which I'm really proud of. This turned out really cool looking. So you're inside here, and these lights are supposed to be flashing on and off as you battle the gym leader. Um, these ones on the side are stable, just so you always have a constant light source, but the rest of them are going to flip on and off. I have little redstone clocks built outside each of them. Um, they're not synced up, obviously, so they're going to be flashing at different times. But I just thought that was really cool, uh, something I haven't done before, and it turned out to look really, really nice inside this gym here. So anyways, you battle the gym leader, just like always, you eventually win, go behind. Um, this time you don't need to go up, you can just follow it out the back. And there's this cool little patio where you can kind of look, uh, look around at the scenery as you finish. Um, and this walkway back to the forest, and eventually this will take you back onto the path to... Uh, to return and continue your quest to become the Pokemon champion. There's a little puddle down there. Um, Alright, so let's go back into creative. So, oh my gosh, I can't even spell. Alright. So this gym uh, was... Oops. This gym was a lot of fun to make. Uh, it's, it's simple. Um, compared to some of the past ones, I feel like this one's actually kind of small. I might like that towards the end game gyms, the ones that don't take quite as long. Um, just because you've already gone through it enough times, I don't want it to get to be too repetitive. That's why I tried switching it up with like the dark room and then a little bit trickier parkour, but it's also much smaller parkour. So anyways, this is where you are in relation to the world. You can see the snow gym over there. Um, if you continue on this way, you'll eventually get to the grass gym down there. And, oh, there's a little sneak peek at what I've been working on. That's actually the smaller part of what I've been working on. I'll let this chunk load in, and then I'm going to turn right as it loads in. And, bam. All right. So that's what I've been working on off screen. Uh, more to come on that. Anyways, thank you for watching again. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please uh, like the video or comment below if you have any suggestions, as always. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.